Now let's watch a dissection of the anterior gluteal region on a Sindaver. First, let's remove the superficial fascia and skin. You will need to orient yourself to see the iliac crest anteriorly. You will begin to see the origin of the hamstrings more inferior and the iliac crest will be superior. The gluteus maximus is now taking up most of our field of view, with a portion of the gluteus medius appearing. Along the midline, we can see the latissimus dorsi inserting onto the thoraca lumbar fascia. You will now be cutting the gluteus maximus again and be sure to avoid the neuromuscular vasculature that will be passing through the gluteal nerves. Now, cut through the medial attachments of the gluteus maximus just off the midline of the sacrum. Next, cut the attachments to the iliac crest so that the gluteus maximus can be reflected laterally. Now reflected, you will see the gluteus medius along with a number of strap muscles which are mostly lateral rotators. Note the sacrotuberous ligament here is an important landmark running from the sacrum out to the ischial tuberosity. Now passing just deep from our field of view is the piriformis, another important landmark in this region as it emerges from the greater sciatic foramen. In order to view the last of the gluteal muscles, you will need to again reflect the gluteus medius and making a midline incision, remove it from the iliac crest. Now with the gluteus medius fully exposed, we can now see all of the muscles in the gluteal region. Running from superior to inferior, we have gluteus minimus, piriformis as it emerges out of the greater sciatic foramen, superior gemellus, obturator internus tendon, and finally inferior gemellus. Note that these three muscles together form the triceps coxae and all three form a common tendon. Note that both the superior and inferior gemellus insert onto the tendon of the obturator internus muscle. We now see the quadratus femoris and again see the sacrotuberous ligament as it runs from the sacrum to the ischial tuberosity. Reflecting the sacrotuberous ligament, we now see the ischial tuberosity and the ischial spine. Note it is important to appreciate the sharp turn it makes as the obturator internus emerges from the pelvis running through the lesser sciatic foramen. Please note that the neurovasculature is absent in the Sindaver model. The piriformis is also an important landmark in this region. As it divides the greater sciatic foramen into a suprapiriformis space and an infrapiriformis space. Emerging from the suprapiriformis space would be the superior gluteal nerve, artery, and vein. Emerging in the infrapiriformis space would be a number of neurovascular structures including the inferior gluteal nerve, artery, and vein. Also, we would see the sciatic nerve and the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. Now finally wrapping just around the ischial spine, you would have the pudendal nerve and the internal pudendal artery and vein. 